Ni hao. We are Timei. And we, and we are, are Alejandro Molina. We are currently studying in Taiwan at the National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. And we would like to share with you how the classes are done here in quarantine. More specifically, a lab course, material testing lab. This subject aims to learn about material science, from how to observe the samples to how to enhance some of their properties. We took this lab as an intensive summer class in the middle of a new pandemic outbreak here in Taiwan, which makes the experience drastically different. We had to attend the class from our dorms via videos or meetings. However, this was not a weak but a strong point because the professor used all the means to make her class more dynamic. However, each of us have our personal opinion about the lab course. As we mentioned earlier, the teacher made use of tools to teach us. The one I liked the most was Kahoot. At the end of the lesson, the teacher made us compete in this app to fix the knowledge. Although I never won, it helped us to learn. That added to the fact that the classes were interactive and fun because of this reason. The feedbacks for the reports were fast and the teacher asked in class to a specific person by its name. And the professor rewarded the students by buying the lunch for the winner of the game as an excuse to get along with the students. All of this made us feel quite comfortable. She made this an incredible way to discern our learning. Although we could not use the laboratories, we had at hand the videos made by the TAs that show us patiently and in detail how to operate the instruments. At the end of the day, what remains with me is that the teacher was able to pass on to us her passion for her research area, which is plasma, and its innovations for material science. And I am really thankful for that. The material testing lab was started by the plasma optimization team on the National Taiwan University of Science and Technology. And of course, we also learned about plasma. It was by no means a common material testing class, as almost every process we learned had also a plasma equivalent treatment, which had its advantages and disadvantages. By writing the reports and attending the online lectures, we learned a lot about the different material testing procedures and preparations. All because the professor and the teacher assistants designed a good environment for learning an online lab course. They gave us different games and quizzes to make sure we understand everything, and they were always there to answer our questions. If you hear plasma, you will probably think about the sun or the very anticipated nuclear fusion reactors. However, we learned that plasma have much broader usage, and that such applications were usually analogous to some common procedure of testing materials. We had a lot of fun during this online lab. Let's hope one day we can do all the experiments by ourselves. Thank you, professors, and thank you, TAs. Hello, I am Alejandro Molinas. And I am also Alejandro Molina. <laughs> we are currently... <coughs> As we mentioned earlier, the teacher made use of tools to teach us. The one I liked the most was... <laughs> Ni hao. We are teammate. And, and we, we are Alejandro, Alejandro Molina. <laughs> <laughs> Dale pues. Ni hao. We are teammate. And we are Alejandro Molina. Bramble, bramble. Ni hao. We are teammate. And we are Alejandro Molina. Ni hao. We are teammate. And we are Alejandro Molina.